Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today we're going to be having a play with the Sorceress palette from Jolie Beauty. Jolie Beauty is a vegan and cruelty free UK indie brand and this is the colour story. Absolutely gorgeous. So if you would like to see how I created this look using this palette then just keep on watching. I've primed my eyes using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer and uh, everything else I have on my face already will be listed in the description box below for you to check out should you wish to. So the first colour I think I'm going to be going into is Hocus. It's got a lovely big mirror, but unfortunately mine's got a crack. No idea how that happened. So just taking Hocus on a Spectrum B07. And just taking that through my crease. I'm thinking of doing kind of a purple and grey look. I think that could be really interesting. So this is my first time uh, trying Jolie Beauty and it was actually seeing Leora playing with this palette that made me want it so badly. If you don't know who Leora is I will link her channel in the description box below for you to check out because she is the queen of indie brands. She just tries so many different ones like smaller ones, ones that you may not have heard of. and she's so so lovely. Well this seems to be blending really nicely. There's no kick up at all in the pan but it's going on, it's, uh, it's definitely nice and buildable. I'm just really blowing that out up and across. And next I am going to be going in with Solstice and I'm going to be taking that on this brush from Miali Beauty. So this is either going to go really well or really bad. So I have in my head that it's going to go good. I'm just taking that gently through the lower part of my crease there, although still above my eyelids <laughs> when my eyes are open so it can still be seen. I do have to say so far these shadows are not giving me any hassle at all. And then just going back into Hocus, that first purple, and I'm just going to be going over the edges there to blend that grey into the purple. And back in with just a bit more of Solstice, the grey. Just want to make sure that outer view is nice and uh, deep. Oh, I'm really liking that. I think that's blending beautifully. Let me just uh, go over these edges again. Yeah, I'm liking how that's looking so far, so I'm going to quickly nip off and pop on some NYX Glitter Primer and then I'll come back to continue. NYX Glitter Primer on. I'm firstly going to be going in with Chalice, the grey shimmer there. And I'm just going to take that on a Morphe flat brush. It seems to pick up okay. So just taking that on the outer part of where we have the NYX Glitter Primer there. I 
So just taking it at a diagonal, just purely because uh, it's the shape I prefer on my eyes. I am getting a little bit of fallout here, but I am loading my brush up. Very nice. Yep, the fallout seems to have dusted away nicely. So I'm just now going to be going into, hmm, where am I? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to be going in with Enchantress, the purple shimmer, just using a little Morphe flat brush. And putting that just where we have left open. Oh, I do have to say I'm really impressed with these shimmers. Oh, this purple is gorgeous. I'm just dragging it slightly onto the grey there, grey shimmer, just to melt them in a bit. I'm really loving the look of that. Right, so for the lower lash line, I think hmm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with Hallow's Eve, the deeper purple matte just on a little crown smudge brush and I'm going to take that right against the lower lash line just a tiny bit at a time so that we don't over overdo it I had to really fight the urge not to go straight in with the greens but <laughs> next time I will and I'm just going to use Hocus just to blend that out I'm just going to go in with a Spectrum A12 and just dab into Hocus <laughs> and just use that to smoke out the lower lash line there Right, I'm going to dip into a bit of uh, Solstice, the dark grey there, and just add a little bit of that to the very outer, outer edge here. Just to make sure that, that the lower lash line meets up with uh, the upper lid. Right, and I'm just going to dip into Solstice, the uh, dark grey, just to tap that over the edge and make sure that that shimmer is blended into the mat. Right, I'm just going to pop some glitter primer on the on my inner corners there. So I do want the inner corner I like to really pop. And just bring that down onto the lower lash line a little bit. Right, and for my inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight, I'm going to be going in with Equinox. So let's see how this plays out so let's pop equinox in the oh wow that is a blinding shade look at that it looks like it's got a hint of green in it Uh, 
and then I'm just going to take that just onto the very inner part of my lid there just to blend the inner corner highlight into the purple shimmer It's beautiful. Right, and just a touch of that up on the brow bone there. Oh, that is super blinding. Wow. Right, I'm just going to take the brush that we had the light purple on just to kind of mesh the purple into the brow bone highlight there. I am really, really loving this. The grey and the purple I think just goes so beautifully. So I'm going to quickly nip off and finish my face and then I will come back to show you the finished look and let you know what my first impressions are. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so here is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'll just let you know what else I've popped on my face and then we'll have a quick chat about the palette. So the mascara is the Barry M That's High Roll as usual. In my waterline I have the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Piggy Bank. The blue liner that I have is the Altitude Cosmetics Cake It Liner in the shade Strength. The lashes I have on are from Altitude Cosmetics in the style Doll. The blush is from Pout and Shout and it is Boozy Susie which is a really beautiful purple blush. And the highlighter is also from Pout and Shout. It is the Happy Glow Lucky Highlighter in the shade Lucky Dice. It's a really nice purple highlighter. And on my lips, I have the We Makeup Ever Liquid Lipstick in shade 10. So, this palette. Well, first impressions, I haven't tried any of the glitters as yet, so I can't comment on those. But out of the purple and greys that I have tried, I I found the mattes to be really easy to blend, really pigmented. Um, the shimmers, they they really pack a punch. I really, I've really enjoyed playing with this palette today and I'm looking forward to playing with it some more. So I really do want to have a go with the greens, but predictable me, hey. So yeah, first impressions, impressed. So yes, and also I do love the packaging. And being a snake keeper myself, I appreciate the little snakey on air. Beautiful. So yes, that is it from me for today. If you've liked this video, please give it a like, thumbs up, it really helps me out. If you are not subscribed already, then I hope you'll consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button. I love all things makeup, especially colourful makeup, and uh, I mainly focus on indie brands. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, then please do hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.